Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are new or a regular visitor to my channel and haven't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the notification immediately. In this session, we will go through an introduction to Robot Framework. What is a Robot Framework? Robot Framework is an open source automation framework. It is another automation framework which can be used for backend testing as well as frontend testing. And it is open source. There is no license fee involved in this and it is free to download and use. Robot Framework is mainly used for acceptance testing. When I say acceptance testing, um, it, acceptance testing is generally done by business users and business users will not have much programming knowledge. So since robot framework doesn't need extensive programming knowledge, um, since it is based on keywords, uh, there are a lot of keywords, uh, built in keywords available and you can also create your own keywords which can be used in creating the test suites or test cases. Since the business users will not have much programming language, robot framework gives an advantage for them to create the test cases easily without having deep programming knowledge. And robot framework can be used with Python or Java and that means if you want to write some additional functionality apart from the existing keywords, then you can do that using Python or Java uh, code. And these can be called within the user defined keywords. The user defined keywords can be a set of built in keywords as well as the methods which are written in Python or Java. Okay, so we will see an example of uh, how to make use of Python method within an user defined keyword. And robot framework uh, comes up with a lot of generic test libraries and tools, uh, which is quite useful for building any test suite or test cases quickly. But you need to be aware of the keywords within those libraries too. So you should have at least some knowledge about the keywords uh, which are readily available, which can be used to build the test cases quickly and easily. Another big advantage of uh, um, Robot Framework is that it has built in support for log and reports. If you look at the Java Selenium framework, TestNG provides you the, and the report and uh, Log4j provides you the log, but Robot Framework has got built-in features for providing the log and report HTML files. Robot Framework provides um, a very good log and report HTML files, um, which is easy to navigate and uh, pinpoint where the issues are if some of the test case fails. And if you want to add something to the log file, there are keywords available, which you can make use of uh, to add additional debug messages. Apart from this, Robot Framework comes up with a plugin, uh, which can be plugged into Jenkins for continuous build. And you can build and run the test cases from Jenkins directly. And that is the brief introduction to Robot Framework. That is the end of this session. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button and share it. If you have any queries, comments, suggestions or requests, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.